Is it still realistic to find a QA job right now in the 2024 guys? I know finding a QA testing job or a QA job especially right it is very difficult nowadays. Let's see what are the things what are the trends right now in especially if you are someone as manual tester who wants to jump into the automation or if you are someone fresher or a non IT wants to jump into the automation world right or a software testing world what are the problems that you will be facing especially related to the job market right now in 2024 or 25 all right so let's get started. Point number 1 which is very important manual QA or or generally we call this as a manual only generally normal software QA without using any automation tool right it is almost dead why I'm saying this is very very important if you agree with this point do let me know in the chat also nowadays I was just talking to the many HRs nowadays finding manual testing jobs are almost gone HRs are not hiring especially you need to increase your skills you need to add the web automation mobile automation API automation directly into your uh, skill set which is very very important that's why I have already created a roadmap for you especially it's a four month plan that everyone has to follow that's why what I I recommend also so this is the four month plan that you have to follow to learn or add automation skill also along with the manual skill manual skills are to always be important right so this is very very important that all of you add automation skills which is very very important point number one point number two is adding project always helps so i was talking so last year only we i have basically taught more than 500 people and i was able to help them to convert them into the automation okay and they are able to basically convert themselves into the automation world what was the thing they have followed right what is it so this is what the things that I have seen it which works most of the time which is showcasing your manual portfolio as well as the automation portfolio what, what do you mean by this as a fresher as a known IT or even as a manual tester what you need to do is you need to add the live projects or real life projects into your skills or you can say on your resume which is very very important so you need to showcase your projects like this into your github github is the second resume guys after the LinkedIn so if your LinkedIn is good interviewer many times see your github also which is very important so make sure you create your repositories like this for example these are the projects that I have worked on API testing project. This is a postman and the Newman report that I have worked on. I have showcased everything. I see this is the API automation framework that I have worked with rest assured as well as this is how I have worked with GitHub and everything. And this is the basically the Selenium framework with the design pattern custom hybrid framework that can also be converted into Cucumber BDD if needed. How we are running directly, right? This is and how we are running it on a Selenium Selenoid grid also, right? All this is basically nothing but a manual testing portfolio or a automation portfolio, which is very, very important that you need to showcase and this is the thing that which is working right now so make sure that adding automation projects is very important and you need to add them which is very very important okay but from home jobs are no more okay so this is no more almost here i would say work from home or you can say work from office jobs are more which is work from office jobs are more and work from home jobs are a little less for the qas which is very important if you guys know i have recently launched the qa job board also where you will find you can find the remote job also if there is a remote filter directly it's a QA job board where I have a separate team they are daily adding more than 30 plus uh, jobs especially related to QA only okay nothing else you need to know you don't need to find knockery.com linkedin.com no everywhere in a single format you will get it directly you can apply direct links no spamming nothing else with the advanced information which I have added which is what are the must skills that you have with the job description how to prepare your interview how to prepare your resume so that it gets selected as well as what are the links to prepare how to prepare the interview also I have also added so these kind of stuff we are adding into the QA job board so work from office jobs are more work from home jobs for QA are little less but definitely there are still available so you can grab them which is important automation is trending the fourth point is guys yes automation is trending and many many times i have seen it web automation api or mobile automation anyhow you need to learn this is the roadmap which i have already added right this roadmap everyone has to upskill which is very very important else you will not able to get the 30 to 40 percent highest your career will be stuck manual testing is of course it's a boring stuff right that we already know right yes so these are the things if you want to upskill you want to secure your job automation you have to go this is like a mandatory for or the manual tester pressers as well as known IT previously we used to learn manual right stuff but nowadays adding automation helps for you to get a job also to get a maximum number of calls you need to do some open source projects that you can basically find everywhere and you need to add them into your resume also which is very important this is what we have seen it okay apart from the last one targeting good companies basically helps so I have already created a list of good companies which are especially in India generally hire for SDET profiles or the software tester profile or an automation tester profile I have already created but you 
you can find more number of companies on a QA job board that we have already launched, right? So you will find all the links in the chat. Do let me know if you need all these links of the projects, how to basically work with it and how to upload them, right? Promoter, but I have no idea how to upload them into the GitHub also, right? So I think I have already created or given a two hours of course, how you can basically upload all these projects into your repository. So this is just a two hours of a course with the Git tutorial. You will be also able to create repository like this. You will be also able to showcase your projects like this, right? If you want to learn it, link will be in the description. You can check it out. Do let me know. Pinned comment, 100 likes target and 100 comments target. Just give me yes in the chat if you think this, all the links that you need. Okay. So I hope this helps. This is a small video around this to help you guys. What is the current state right now, especially with the testing world. So over conclusion, more and more automation jobs are there, right? Automation jobs are only one which is getting increased. Experienced automation jobs are more as compared to the fresher world, but there are with openings with the fresher also. But the people who are into known IT, you have to add skills. You have to add projects more or you have to do double the efforts to be honest, right? To become an automation tester or, or a software tester nowadays. Previously, it was very easy, but it was now very difficult because automation knowledge with the Java or Python is important or mandatory nowadays. Okay. So this is overall conclusion. I hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for joining in. I do let me know what is your thoughts right now? How is the job market in the QA in the chat also? And if you need all the links, do let me know. Yes. In the chat, pinned comment, it will be available. 100 likes and targets. Thank you for joining. Enjoy.